Okay. Doing a replay review here. Let's see what are you number two? Yeah. First things first, I kind of not a fan of the replay you sent me because <laughs> of the map, but it's all right. Especially since this looks to be sort of like quick match or something, that the team comps are kind of weird. So your macro on this map is going to be kind of kind of messed up. So your team can either do one of two things. You can solo bottom or and have the four people up here. Or you could double soak and they could be down here. Personally, I like the idea of you double soaking better. But Against Nova Samuro, maybe that's gonna be tough. I don't know. This is fine. I won't I won't dwell on this too much. So you took Arsenal Synergy at level one. Um Reading your comments on Reddit, you said you had a lot of trouble with this. The best like it's it sucks, but my only advice is just you have to practice it a lot. Um and it sounds like you've already practiced it a lot, so I'm trying to think of other ways other than just drill it, pretty much, that, that you'll get the hang of it. Um, you should really pay attention to, like, the, the timing of it, of your, your three attacks. I pretty much always, throughout the entire game, am keeping a mental counter in my head of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It's almost like, like keeping beat in music or something. Um, and you want to know, on the third attack... I, I actually do it entirely by feel, and so I'm actually not very helpful at this, but, um, like, on the third attack, you can kind of think as if there's a fourth beat, and I believe you want to switch just before the fourth beat, um, in order to get the bomb attack to come out immediately, and that way there's no delay on it, because if you do it wrong, you know, you have this huge delay, and then it's, like, awful. So... That's, like, the best advice I can give to you is, like, always keep a mental count in your head. So that way you can, like, attack a person and then back off. And then attack a person and then back off. And you'll know when you do that third attack that you're going to have the bomb. If you've been mentally counting or whatever. Otherwise, you might not be sure. Um, it depends if you're attacking minions in between or whatever. So you have to know when to reset your counter also. Um, but that's the, the main advice I would give for that. I actually like that you're staying back here because there's really no real reason for you to step up and potentially like die from a bush here. So this is actually smart. Valera doesn't need to be down here. Okay, you can start on bomb and as soon as the wave comes, already be splashing usually the mage minion, the one in the center is the one I hit. And usually that gets all three of the back, and usually only two of the front. And then uh, I normally stay back and let the waves crash, actually, onto each other. I don't tank them like this, but here it's fine. Yeah, okay. And then so what you can do is basically if you stand on top of the mage minion and Q, it will hit all of the minions, and that way you can fast clear this. And so now you see somebody. So... Up until this point, you wanted to be fast clearing it because you wanted to push this wave in as fast as possible, which is why I was saying you should do it as the wave is coming in. Um, because if somebody wasn't here, then you could potentially zone them off of the experience and make them miss an entire wave. But now that you see somebody here, so now you don't need to worry about pushing this as much. Um, so here you can do two things, basically. You can either just straight back up and just poke with bombs. But you really have no idea which of these Samuro clones is the real one. It's most likely going to be the one furthest back. Um, so what I would do is Q and switch to Repeater. And I would try to uh, splash my arsenal bombs on these guys. So that's the real one. The one walking away now. 
yeah so you if you're pretty much ever hitting heroes you want to be on rip eaters and these are heroes so you could charge up a, a bomb shot and then as soon as he steps in right now you could just bomb this minion and chunk him for like a quarter of his health <laughs> And you want to chase with repeater shots too. Um, the main difference between repeater and bomb shots, aside from their damage, is that repeater shots have less of an attack wind up. And so your Q will slow them, and then you can just chase them down by stutter stepping from there with repeater shots. And because it has less of a delay, like not only are you outputting more single target damage with repeater, but you're also just like able to stutter step and keep up with them better. So you could have actually probably chased that guy down here and like chunked him to like a 30 HP. And then he's completely zoned off from the chest down here. This is like super different though too because you're playing Phoenix essentially in the offlane right now. Which I have to do a lot and it's not uncommon and it's like good to get used to doing this. But it is very different from how you want to be playing I guess. Because ideally you would want to have Phoenix in the 4 man. So yeah. This is good. You want to pretty much Q as soon as he's on top of you, and then, yeah, be on repeater and just chunk him. So I would even step back in and start hitting this guy and look to splash the back one. Yeah, you switched too early. You gotta be counting those repeater shots. I think you had one or two there. Already done up. Here the bomb is fine because you don't see the real one, and so he might have gone back to contest Valera, and so you could have been pushing the wave. You didn't need to use Q on this. I think you might have been trying to use Q to break this guy out of stealth, which is good. Um, and it just missed, potentially. You could have also just been attacking this guy, the bottom minion, in order to clear the wave less and potentially scout the bush a little bit with the splash, or if he's trying to run at you to break him out of stealth as he's running at you. But that's pretty minor. It's fine. Yes, yeah, so you know both of these are fake. Yes, yeah, so that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to break him out of stealth. That's fine. You can do that, definitely. You can attack minions here and break him too. Yeah, you just gotta be real quick around the set or stepping there. You can just bomb and then back off. Like, especially don't walk forward, because he almost got an auto off on you there. Offlane is pretty much all about trades, and so if you can ever avoid damage, I would Q him right now. Q, switch to repeater, and just walk this way, and just kite him back the whole time. You don't need to worry about the chest, this is all about him right now. Okay, he dodged it with his thing. It's most likely the front one that's real. Um, the way to know this is really specific, but the Samuro clones take extra damage. And so if it was one of the back clones, one of these would have taken not 146 damage. So because they both took identical damage, you know the front one is the real one. Um, that's pretty specific. You have to like know that in the moment. But I know it's the front one right now because of that. So now you can just focus all your autos into this guy. You just need to be stutter stepping a lot better here. You shouldn't have really been getting hit. And Valera got this camp, which isn't really going to do anything. She spent like a long time doing it too. She really should have been up here the whole time, I think, but that's okay. It's quick match or whatever, you know. Okay, so that's three autos. So now you want to switch. Bomb this guy. Okay, four autos. Five, six, seven. Okay. Gotta switch. I would still just push this in. If you get a kill, you generally want to fast push the wave in immediately. That way, like, Simro's going to be coming back from his base right now, his fountain or whatever. And hopefully most of this wave dies to the towers before he gets back, so then he'll lose a wave of experience. A lot of the offlane is about experience. Um, something else to note is when the chest is up, 
then you also want to fast push the wave because then if the wave is under his towers and the chest is over here, he's has a, a lose-lose choice of does he lose the coins for free and get the wave of experience or does he contest the coins and lose the wave of experience. So like you're giving him a lose-lose choice there. Um, so because you have the wave clear advantage, like Semro's wave clear is really bad. If his wave clear was like, I don't know, Blazer to Hawker or somebody, like somebody who could almost contest your speed on in terms of wave clear, then pushing it in doesn't matter as much. Um, because he's just going to fast clear it and then come over and not have to make the, the choice. But yeah. This is really specific. You don't actually need to show yourself right here because Stukov is going to delay this. And you basically want to give this channel time is like free time that you have. And it's free time that Valera can walk over. So you don't want to show until Valera is like right here about to engage. So yeah, you can actually just stay hidden here. I would probably prioritize going for the white man here, because Cassio's going to have armor. And the white man looks like she's closer to my Valera. Oh, my Valera's not paying attention. Okay, well, that messes with that plan a little bit. And Valera went on the wrong target. Hmm. Okay, well, I would still switch to Repeater here and just start hitting the Cassia, since that's the safe target. I would try to be stutter-stepping forward to get in range of the white main and help my Stukov. Yeah, they're just walking away. That's fine. You see Samuro here. And here's Kael'thas with two bombs on your teammates. I would just probably back off. I wouldn't contest the Kel'thas, and I would wait for the bombs to explode before looking to go back in. Oh, it's bomb on only one teammate. Okay. This is just a... <laughs> this is just going to be a fiesta. Okay. And Vala's top. Hmm. I mean, this guy's dead pretty much already. There's nobody really low enough for you to burst. And Valyria's not stealthed ready to open on anybody. I mean, Zul'jin could maybe go on this Kel'thas. That's about the only option you have here. But basically, I would just Q and start retreating and ping retreat at this point. You should be stutter-stepping the whole way back here, because you could have definitely gotten a bomb off here. That warp was fine. The only CC they have to break your warp is Valkyrie, the white main route, and Kel'thas stun. It's pretty good. You need your wave clear on this wave right now. You don't need to be doing this camp. At least one of you should go and just stay behind the towers to get the experience. So I think you missed four minions of experience there. Maybe five. They're on the bottom camp. Yikes. Okay, you guys are trying to turn in. That's fine. That's actually probably the better option here. But this guy's trying to... feed kills. Okay. You're looking to go on this Cassia. The Stukov's about to silence. Yeah, that seems fine. I w wish the Valera was more active and like would have been with you, but this is good. You can queue her instantly, especially with target acquired. Like, You want to queue pretty much instantly as soon as your first repeater shot goes out. So they're already building up the movement speed. You could just run her down straight up here and 
probably kill her. I think you could kill her. So I think this is a missed kill. You don't really see the rest of their team, so it's kind of risky, but... Okay, so you saw she just used her tap there, the Cassia. And her Samuro. Yeah, I want to hard shove these in. You can auto her with repeaters right now. Okay. Okay. It's super minor. You can try attacking the back right one to like dismount the white main there, but it doesn't really matter. You gotta switch to repeater to get the movement speed. You probably missed an arsenal proc there. You try and warp the bomb, that's good. I would even step back here and use my Q slow to try and help the Stukov. You kind of do that. It was kind of too late though, unfortunately. There wasn't much you could, could do there. Repeaters. Gotta be on repeaters. Yeah, this Kelthos should be dead. Try and warp again. Yeah, this Kelthos also should still be dead, but I think you could have killed Nova or White Mane in there, potentially. Okay, they turned in. So they're, yeah, I was going to say, they're going to be up here. Yeah, if you're on repeater, like, and just counting shots and getting the bombs off, you guys are winning a lot more of these fights. Check your damage right now. 8,000? I think you could be double right now. I think you could be at 16,000. Oh, as I'm mounted, I want to walk at her while I'm mounted still. Q to get the slow, and then just repeater shots. And you could have chunked her pretty hard there. And I don't know what the time was when we saw her tap, but if you're keeping track of that, you could have possibly chunked her out pretty hard here. Okay, so she tapped again. Yeah, you're just not being in re repeater shot in fights, mainly. You pretty much never want to be on bomb in fights unless you are primarily clearing minions or you have the arsenal synergy bomb charged up otherwise you should almost always be in repeater you have to be down here defending this like this is a time where i would be in bomb trying to clear the siege giants and the minions so that i didn't lose as many structures down here Um, I know there was a comment of people saying that you needed to do the double bomb, the, the bomb double switching, like, as almost a required mechanic on Phoenix. Um, I don't really think it's necessary. It's obviously good if you can do it consistently, especially, um, but it's not at all required to play Phoenix. You don't really ever do it in fights. You pretty much only do it if you're clearing waves or camps, and it only ups the clear speed by, like, a couple seconds, and it's not really that important. So I don't even do it half the time, and it's fine. So don't worry about that too much. Getting hit by the Siege Giants is definitely bad, though. You lost all your shield and half your HP from that. Yeah, you, you this is just dead. Go okay, Salvo here. Repeater shot, repeater shot.
Yeah, you can't step up to that. I actually like that you're not showing on the wave here. That's pretty funny. Um, there's only like two real things for you to do right now. One is just to come top like you are. The other would be to get this bruiser camp, but this fort really doesn't seem that important in terms of the map. And you guys are going to have enough coins to turn in. I actually like that you came this way because it gives you the option of just coming here and turning in if you see them all topside, which looks like might happen. I see Kalthos over here. Okay. She's dead. So at this point, I would have turned down and tried to turn in. Oh, we need one more too. Zildjian doesn't have coins. That's unfortunate. I didn't see that she's the one that had all your coins. Yeah, okay. Stukov's in a really bad spot, though. I still think she's 100% dead, but you can maybe save her with a Q. It's probably most important to slow the Cassia and the Nova. I feel like the Samro is going to catch up with her regardless. Okay, well, they're, they're starting to back off, so now it's only the Samro. So now you can just Q and block him. Okay, you get it, but you start the Q off of him. You can just start the Q directly on top of him to get it instantly. Okay, it's most likely the most forward one now. That one got dealt 200 damage. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb. Okay. You could have been faster on that, I think. That's alright. Honestly, keeping Vala alive there was the only, like, real concern. Missing a kill or something doesn't really matter at that point. The siege camp went pretty, did pretty good. You can just kill this guy. You can just walk up and then go on repeater and Q and just chase him down. The only damage he has is Living Bomb, which you can also dodge with Warp. And then you only have to sidestep his stun. Oh, you walked into the Flame Strike? Okay. <laughs> Gotta be avoiding those. Well, Nova's up here too now. Now you have to back off a little bit, especially because Stukov used his silence already. That was a good warp. You're okay. You were walking in close to the bomb there, almost got hit by it. We want to be on repeater. This this level four talent is completely worth this if you're not repeatering shots on people. So I think I would probably tell you to go emergency protocol if you're not going to be Repeatering. Because mainly that's the two most important things right now. Is repeater more. So that you can charge up the bomb shots more. And then stutter step pretty much. And that's about it. And like I understand wanting to stay in bomb in fights. Because it's longer range. And so you are able to play safer. Um... The only real way I can tell you is, like, you just have to learn how to position safe in the closer range. Um, and it's kind of counterintuitive because actually having the movement speed from target acquired and stuff, and having the threat of the Arsenal Synergy bomb damage, kind of makes you safer by hitting with repeaters than you are just staying in bombs. Because you're also pressuring the enemy healer a lot more, 
you're pressuring the enemy DPS a lot more because you're killing them faster. You're getting movement speed so that, like, you can warp, and then if you're running away at 40% movement speed, people aren't going to catch you. But if you just warp without movement speed, people can catch up to you sometimes and stuff. So there's lots of, like... I don't know, it's sort of counterintuitive the way you have to do that, but it also is just a lot of practice and experience. But right now, I would say you're doing like 90% phase bombs and like 10% repeaters, and it should be much closer to 50-50, if not favoring repeaters in terms of the whole game. Like, use bombs for wave clear and camps, and use repeater on heroes, unless you have the bomb charged up. Taking the camp here is fine, because nothing's immediately going to die. Go auxiliary shields. Okay, so they just took this bruiser camp. So you know they're down here. You guys want to turn in again? Which I think makes sense, except you're all down here. So whoever's on the turn in isn't going to be protected. So I would leave maybe one person down here. Honestly, maybe zero. And I would just go defend the turn in for Vala right now. Yeah, you can't really go around this way unless you're doing it as a team. And even then, it's really sketchy. So... There's, like, either the chance that they're all in here, or that they're all backed up, and they're all, like, waiting of up here. And unfortunately for Stukov, they were down here. So he's probably dead. Yeah. It's a good attempt at a salvo. You can warp the Pyroblast here. Oh, just too slow on it. That's fine, honestly. You guys still get the turn-in off here. I see that you tried to go for it, at least. So, that's just practice. Yeah, they can't go that way. These, these two are insane. Alright, the Valera lived. back alive. I like this aggressive warp. If you're on repeater right now, these two are dead. 100%. Chase them down with, with target acquired. Got the root. Yeah, you guys can chase them down. Be on repeater shots. Charge up a repeater on this, uh, on this Nova. You're getting baited by the clones. Ooh, you have to back off. Yeah, okay. He just used he just used both of his spells. You can just Q, repeater, 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 bomb, and he's dead. Right now. That's hard. Like, I can understand why that's scary to see that, but you can also kill this guy still right now. Oh, Samuro's here. Speed this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk at him on mount. Q, repeater. Okay, now I'm just warping away immediately. I think you actually meant to warp and just fat fingered the salvo. That's fine. Like that just happens sometimes. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's kind of a big deal because this is a long cooldown, but you're alive. It's the important thing. Epic misclick. Yep. Careful. Okay, I was gonna say careful with the bomb.
I'm real scared for this Vala right now. I think she's okay. Yep, gotta be on repeater for this though. No, you're never catching him. Okay, they got a camp down here. It's gonna get a tower. This is a real scary for you to be going up this far alone. You see no one on the map. If I'm then, I'm, I'm either getting all these camps, which Samurai is probably getting these two. Okay. I was going to say, or I'm doing the boss. I follow what Q built. Interesting. You guys can't do this, especially not, like, alone. Like, maybe now the three of you could go do one camp or something, but... Honestly, I might have considered with Vala already up top, just going up and trying to do it. And just giving up bot side right now. So now you guys are showing four top on the watchtower. Yeah, you guys, like, have to do boss here. But Val is not uh, down with the plan. Oh, because it's a bot? I see. Gotta dodge the, the boss stuns and stuff. Using Q on the boss is good though, and it scouts the bushes. Yep, now you just immediately recall. You guys lose a keep for it, but hopefully it trades a keep. Probably not, but can hope. Ooh, yeah, you're just stepping up too close there. You just have to warp immediately out of that. Yep, that's just a game. I mean, this is mostly just like quick match stuff, like in terms of the macro and getting behind so many levels. Um... Yeah, it's mostly just invites, just really work on stutter slipping, really work on counting the three repeaters, and only bomb heroes, like, when you have it charged up. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. If you, if you want to just focus on the repeaters first, I would actually probably recommend going mobile offense or advanced targeting at level one, and then just only prioritize repeater shotting people. I would probably prioritize mobile offense if you're trying to work on stutter stepping also. And don't even worry about doing the weapon switch to bombs. Just stay on repeater the whole game if you're hitting heroes and just practice on auto move, auto move, auto move, auto move, auto move and staying safe in the fight and getting out the damage that way. And then once you feel comfortable doing that after like, I don't know, 10 games or something, then start playing with Arsenal Synergy again. And do the exact same thing, but now just on every fourth attack, switch to bomb. Get the bomb attack off, switch back. And just do that, like, a ton. It, it takes a lot of practice to get it to be muscle memory or whatever. I think the counting internally helps. Um, yeah, it'll feel a lot better, too, once you have the movement speed from this, that you're able to chase people and dodge, like, sidestep a lot more things, um, like flame strikes and stuff like that. So... Once you do those two things, the hero will feel a lot better, I think. So yeah, those are the main two things to work on, I think.